Dr. Graham Simpson, who leads a drug discovery research group at GSK, comes from a long line of scientists. In fact, his seventh great uncle, Sylvanus Bevan, was the founder of the London apothecary known as Ploughcourt Pharmacy. That apothecary business, founded 300 years ago in 1715, evolved into GSK, one of the world's biggest pharmaceutical companies. Sylvanus so Bevan, my ancestor, was a young Welsh Quaker businessman who trained as a, an apothecary in London. And in 1715, he started up his own first business, a pharmacy shop. And amazingly, uh, 300 years later, it's actually the oldest legacy company behind GlaxoSmithKline. And today I work at GlaxoSmithKline in the research and development labs at Stevenage, discovering novel medicines for, for cancer and for muscle wasting disorders, carrying on the passions of my direct relative. My family and I are immensely proud that Sylvanus started the business 300 years ago. I don't think he could ever have imagined it could turn out this big. We've certainly come a long way from one man's apothecary shop in, in East London. As the heritage archivist for GSK, on a day-to-day -day basis, I get to find new old things in Roxas that come to me through uh, expired standard corporate records. And each different thing in these boxes is completely fascinating. And there is such a wide variety of different items that are produced around the company. In 1715, there would have been a few men producing every single product by hand and probably to individually tailored recipes to every single patient. Now we have a highly sophisticated system that allows us to produce quality products over and over again on highly automated production lines for all the pharmaceuticals and consumer products that we make. From just five employees in 1715, the company now employs more than 100,000 people around the world. There are 80 manufacturing sites globally. As well as medicines and consumer products, GSK produced 850 million doses of vaccine in 2014 alone. In that same year, the company spent £3.2 billion on research and development. While few companies can claim 300 years of heritage, GSK says celebrating the achievements of the past encourages the company to continue to build for the future. 300 years uh, of GSK in one form or another is remarkable and I'm extremely proud because when I acknowledge that history and the innovations that this company has brought to society I think that it's really amazing. But what it gives us for those of us working in GSK today is the knowledge, the skill development, the capability that inspires us to ensure that as we bring through the next generations of innovative medicines and vaccines that benefit society, that we continue to do that with confidence um, and with pride.